Let's do set number 26, five items, word problems about fractions. Number one, Maria made $331.01 last week. She worked 39 and a half hours. What is her hourly wage? Mag-divide lang tayo. So, 331.1 divided by 39 and one half. Para mas madali, convert natin into decimal. 331.01 divided by 39.5. Let's go step by step in dividing these decimal numbers. 331.01 divided by 39.5. Now we can divide. 3310 divided by 395. Para hindi kayo mahirapan, itong 395 mo, i-round off natin ng 400. Then, the next question is, sa 3,000, kasi masyadong malaki yung mga numbers, sa 3,310 or sa 3,000 lang, ilan ang 400 sa 3,000? May 7 na 400 sa 3,000. Yung 7, mga 28, so mayroon pang mga 300, 400 plus. So, 8. Bali, ang sagot dito, 3,310 3, divided by 395, 8 yan. Tapos, i-multiply mo siya. 8 times 395, and that is 3,160. So, mag-deduct tayo. And then, bring down itong buwan na to. So, 1,501 divided by 395. Round off ulit natin ng 400 para mas madali. Ilan bang 400 sa 1,500? 1, 2, 3. Tatlo. So, 3. 3 times 395. That is 5, 8, 1, 1. So, 1,185. Ididak ulit natin yan. 3,160 divided by 395. That is exactly 8. 8 times 395 is equals to 3,160. So the answer here is $8.38. Let us see. Number 2. Virgil or Virgil ate 3 7 of a chocolate chip cookie. Aristotle ate one third of the same cookie. How much of the cookie is left? First, find how much of the cookie was eaten by adding them 3 over 7 plus 1 third. So the least common denominator nito ay 21. 21 divided by 7 equals 3. 3 times 3 equals 9. Then plus 21 divided by 3 equals 7. 7 times 1 equals 7. In other words, 3 over 7 is equivalent to 9 over 21. One third is equivalent to 7 over 21. Now, pwede na tayo mag-add. Just copy the denominator na 21 and then numerator ang i-add natin. 9 plus 7 equals 16. Ito yung nakain nila. So, that means... Ang one whole is equivalent to 21 over 21. Kasi yung denominator natin dapat pareho, 21. So, ang numerator, of course, 21 para one whole siya. 21 over 21 minus 16 over 21. Kopyahin si denominator na 21. 21 minus 16 and the answer is 5. So, ito na yung sagot, 5 over 21. Letter D. Number three, Manuel has worked six and five over eight hours of his regular eight hour a day. How many more hours must he work? 
magmainos lang tayo kasi ang natrabaho niya, imbis na 8 hours, ang natrabaho niya ay 6 and 5 over 8 hours lang. So, i-minus lang natin yan. And then, kung mag-minus tayo sa fraction, itong 8 whole number na to, maglagay tayo ng isang fraction na denominator niya ay 8, which is 8 over 8. In other words, itong whole number na 8 ay the same lang sa 7 and 8 over 8. Minus 6, 5 over 8. Doon muna tayo sa fraction. Kopyahin ang denominator na 8. Tapos, yung numerator, 8 minus 5 equals 3. Whole numbers, 7 minus 6 equals 1. So, the answer here is 1 and 3 over 8. Letter B. Number 4. Irma has read 3 fifths of the novel assigned for her English class. The novel is 360 pages long. How many pages has she read? I-rewrite natin ang sentence. Three-fifths of 360, yan na yung answer. Ulitin ko ha. The given is, Irma has read three-fifths of the novel assigned for her. The novel has uh, 360 pages. So, three-fifths of 360 pages, yun lang yung nabasa niya. So, ito na yun. 3 over 5, off is equivalent to multiplication, tapos 360. Ngayon, pwede na tayong mag-solve. Ito ang i-multiply natin, 360 times 3, and that is 1080 over 5. So, 1080 divided by 5, and that is 216. So, the answer is letter A. Another way is doing this one. I divide mo siya, 360 divided by 5, and that is 72. Maglist ka lang para hindi na tayo gagamit ng mga malalaking mga numbers. So, 360 divided by 5 equals 72. Ito na lang ang i-multiply mo. 3 times 72 is 216. So, the answer is letter A. Number 5. Jerry rode his bike 7 and 3 fourth miles on Monday, 5 and 1 fifth miles on Tuesday, 6 and 2 fifth miles on Wednesday, 7 and 1 half miles on Thursday, 5 and 1 fourth miles on Friday, and 6 and 3 fifth miles on Saturday. The question is, how many total miles did he bike on those 6 days? Total means we will just add them. Since we are only doing addition, so mag-focus lang muna tayo sa mga fractions. Ang least common denominator, para maka-add tayo sa mga fractions, so we will find for the least common denominator. Ang least common denominators nitong lahat ay 20. So, i-convert muna natin yung mga fraction. Ha? Fraction muna tayo. So, 20 ang least common denominator. 20 divided by 4 equals 5. 5 times 3 equals 15. 20 divided by 5 equals 4. 4 times 1 equals 4. 20 divided by 5 equals 4. 4 times 2 equals 8. 20 divided by 2 equals 10. 10 times 1 equals 10. 20 divided by 4 equals 5. 5 times 1 equals 5. 20 divided by 5 equals 4. 4 times 3 equals 12. Ngayon, pwede na nating i-add ang mga fractions. Kopyahin ang denominator na 20. Pwede na nating i-add ang mga numerators. So, this is 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 54. So, ito yung fraction natin. 54 over 20. Itong 54 over 20 na improper fraction, gawin natin siyang mixed numbers. 54 divided by 20. Ilang 20 sa 54? Dalawa. So, ang natitira na lang, that is 40, 54 minus 40, that is 14 over 20. Itong 14 over 20, para malist natin to, hanapan natin ang greatest common factor. And ang greatest common factor nito ay 2. 
So 14 divided by 2 equals 7. 20 divided by 2 equals 10. So ito na yung fraction natin. Balikan natin yung mga whole numbers. 7 plus 5. So 2, 8, 5, 20, 6, 1, 2, 3, 36. So yung whole numbers natin, ay, ang total niyan ay 36. 36 plus 2, kasi sa mga fraction mo, nakabuo ka ng dalawang whole numbers, which is 2. 36 plus 2, that is 38. At yung fraction mo na 7 over 10. So, ang answer dito ay 38 and 7 over 10 miles. Letter C. Uulitin ko lang para mas klaro kung nalilito kayo dito. Bale, ang tanong dito is how many total miles did he bike on those 6 days? So, total mo lang itong lahat ng mga pinigay na mga numbers or mixed numbers. So, itong mga mixed numbers na ito, para mas madali mo siyang i-add, doon ka muna mag-focus sa mga fractions. So, yung mga fractions na yon dapat, para maka-add tayo, dapat yung denominators nila ay pareho. So, i-convert natin into uh, same denominator. Paano tayo makahanap ng same denominator? Hanapan natin ng tinatawag na least common denominator. So, ang least common denominator nila ay 20. And then, uh, yung mga numerators natin, nung i na natin, ang total nila ay 54. Tapos, kinopya natin yung denominator na 20. Yung 54 na over 20, improper fraction na yan, ginawa nating mixed number, which is 2 and 14 over 20. Si 14 over 20, nilist natin using greatest common factor na 2. So, ngayon, ang fraction na 14 over 20 naging 7 over 10. Ito yung fraction natin. Yung mga whole numbers, yung 2, inad natin doon sa mga whole numbers din kasi inad natin itong 7, 5, 6, 7, 5, 6. 36 ang total niyan. 36 plus 2 equals 38. Tapos yung fraction natin na 7 over 10. So, ang sagot dito ay letter C.